My grandfather, Misha Nazarov, was a Russian peasant. His nickname was Papa Bell. His bells, famous for their majestic sound, tolled in churches all over Russia. But his dream was to hear his bell toll in Jerusalem. For 20 years, he prepared his journey. And when he was ready, the entire village joined him. The horses did not survive the desert heat, so the pilgrims harnessed themselves to the wagon. Then, grandfather developed symptoms of Jerusalem fever, a mysterious illness that prevents you from leaving Jerusalem. He was unable to walk, so his sons carried him on a stretcher. Oh, my legs! It hurts. What is hurt? But the greater the distance from Jerusalem, the greater the pain in his legs. When the pain became unbearable, he saw the angel. Nobody knows what the angel actually told him, because only grandfather could see and hear him. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך עולם, אשר קדשנו ממצוותיו וציוונו על מצוות המילה. מזל טוב. You are Juna, and your name is מיכאל. מיכאל? You know what your name signifies in Hebrew? Who is a god like? מי? ח? אל. מה זה אותו מיכאל? מיכאל. 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 
everything in the world is a result of a broken chain of cause and effect. Sometimes the cry of a seagull at the Cape Cod sinks a ship in the English Channel. And sometimes a Russian bell in Jerusalem results in the birth of Jewish twins. Jessica. Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Stephanie. Stephanie. Yeah. Lorraine. Lorraine, yes. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. you Thanks bake. for writing it. My husband bakes. Hi. Hello. My name is Angie. Angie. I have a treat for you. Not exceptional. I used your recipe. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't trust everything you read in books. What is your name? Do you bake? No, no. My father is the baker. So is my brother. I just write. Everybody calls me a writer. But a writer writes about people. And all I can write about is bread. Fortunately, people like bread. Jacob, it's me. What do you want? I, um... Is everything okay at home? Home? This is not your home. Jacob, please. Please. Well, how is Avram? Is he okay? He's dying. Not fast enough, though. I'm gonna put him in a nursing home. Can't keep doing this on my own. Do you need any help? Money? From you.
First time in Israel? Excuse me? It's your first time in Israel? Uh, yes. Yes. My father never lifted anything heavier than a baker's pill. So my mother harnessed herself to the wagon. My father liked water. Grandfather Mikhail built us a bakery in a new village to convince father to leave his beloved Jerusalem. Not bad. Not bad. You feel this sour smell? It's the dough starting to rise. Nothing can stop it now. Now, we must hurry. Stephanie said, don't feed with words, instead come of Come on, bread. come on. Just recently, we gathered from all over the world and came to this land, and here we are. We already have a bakery. <laughs> Best of luck. Long live the Levy family. <laughs> Especially Sarah, the beautiful Sarah. Lechaim, Sarah! these goy songs. Let's sing something for hours, huh? Some Jewish songs, hmm? Heaven shalom aleichem. Heaven shalom aleichem. Heaven shalom aleichem. Heaven shalom, shalom, shalom. 
Shalom Aleichem, 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 Shal
Don't let the heat up. Hey. Told you not to come. Wasn't clear enough on the phone? Well, I did anyway. You're hugging. I don't want to interrupt. You're gonna give me a heart attack, this one. A moment of peace with this goddamn hey camera. Hey there, Uncle. Hey there, niece. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, Dad always said I look like you. Guess it was his way of offending me. So, Tanika. <sighs> Stop by the bedroom door. Careful, Dad. It hasn't dried yet. Who are you? The dream. Slowly. Just follow the way. Blind. Gotta be careful when you're dreaming that. You might start flying. <laughs> Okay. You don't understand. You have a horrible headache. Can you please stop it? Thank you. Hope you're hungry. Don't know what to do with this postema. All day long. Sneaks behind people. Surprises them. Wants to have some kind of exhibition, photography, I don't know. I have a name for it. Shot in the back. Funny, no? Yeah, well, she's an artist, you know. Yeah, yeah, she's an artist. Like you? Huh? Doesn't like to work. Likes to use love. Thank <sighs> you. 
like the eggs. Mm -hmm. Enjoying them like three little piggies. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. Help me. Can we have one breakfast without this thing on your head? Not that. You can eat over there. You know what? From now on, you're his problem. Meet your father, dad. This is your son. He's gonna take care of you from now on. I'm done. Doctor's appointment today. I brought some presents for you, too. Seal skin. Really? Yeah. I plunged the harpoon myself. <laughs> Seal is not cold. <laughs> oh, sir. So it wasn't a dream. You are really here. <laughs> so, um, where is Leah? Uh, slowly I walk in my new sealskin shoes. You know, I saw it makes me want to swim <laughs> like like a seal. <coughs> Where's the Resting. Hmm. No, I have something for her too. No. You want that? A present for Leah. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, it's okay. I'll give it to her later. It's okay. I'm not gonna open it. I know. I just I want to give it to her myself. Abraham, who is the traitor on your first born? Mm -hmm. who, who is the first born? Him. No, this one is the first born. Don't tell me he was the first one. Okay. No, this one is the, the first, first born. One? Yeah. No, I that was, one is the first born. Silence. Yes. 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 This. This little Jew will be the first boy. Put the thread on his hand. That was me. And that's how Grandfather Mikhail chose me as the first born. At the beginning, the world was beautiful and gentle. The explanation was simple. We were blind as bats. Six, nine, three, four, six. Mommy, I can see. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Levy, your boys are twins indeed. They need identical lenses. 
Gonna keep them for just a little bit longer, Mom. Thank you. Uh, make them good glasses, please. Abraham, mm. what's that? They forgot the second pair. <laughs> ah, no. They didn't forget anything. I ordered one pair. Why? Why? Too expensive. They can share. Huh? What do you see? You wouldn't believe what Mrs. Frankel wears today. A pink dress? Mm. Worse, a red blouse mm. and a yellow skirt. She looks like a parrot. <laughs> what can you see now? I think it's the new girl from the house down the hill. She's so beautiful, like a fairy tale. Her eyes, I've never seen eyes like this before. You know what her lips look like? Give me the glasses. You know it's my day. I'll give you anything you want. Anything? Yes. I want to be the firstborn. What, are you crazy? Is that a yes or no? Do you want to see her? Yes, yes. Give me the glasses. Take off the thread. Now you must always call me your eldest brother, got it? Nice, I got it. It's a deal. Deal. You looked at her. That's enough. Just a little more. No, give them back. That was the last time we shared glasses. From then on, each one had its own pair. We stopped walking hand in hand and started living separate lives. First, there's this um, flesh in my leg right there. Mm -hmm. Seems like nothing. Like a flesh of a small lamp. But I know what this muck is all about, this slow, creeping muck. How, how exactly does your pain creep up, Mr. Levy? It creeps up, slowly, slump, slowly, very slowly up the thigh. Then tiny steps, baby steps, reaches my insides, and then expands. As if I'm the one inside it. And then right after that, there's this, um, like a disgraceful feeling in my whole body and inside the chest. The, yeah. Toy, toy, toy. like a rotten lemon. Like a rotten lemon. That's very interesting. You understand, doctor? Sure, sure, like a rotten lemon. You are an excellent doctor. You really understand. Okay. Mr. Levy, um, pain is relative. Each one uh, feels it differently, you know. Uh, some women, uh, uh, some women um, scream during childbirth. Others moan. I used to know one that screamed during conception. Shut up! Forgive my son, doctor. He thinks he's funny. Stay out of this. Give me the camera. What's so funny? What's so funny? What's so funny to you? I mean, taking naked photos of your father, that's funny to you? Give me the camera. 
Please give me. No, Dad, I'm sorry. This is confiscated. No, I'm sorry, okay? I won't do it again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I swear. Next time, I'll smash it. Go to your room. Dad, you're gonna thank me for those pictures yes. one day. Yes, yes, go to your room. <laughs> Did you see that? Say, Danica. Come on, Jacob, give him a break. Should have been your daughter. I'll call up my father and his long lost twin. What do you think? I think you're a little talented squirrel. And I'm an old blind mole. Yes, I found this old film when I went through some stuff. Look how happy we look here. Benjamin was so handsome. All the girls were crazy in love with him. I was a bit jealous. It's his last photo. He got killed three days after we took it. Can I have it? Maybe, if you behave. Do you see this empty space? That's your place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you locked the door again. Yale, can you open the door, please? Mamele. Mamele, open the door. Come on. Show is over. Go. Two years passed. By then, we knew that the girl on the bicycle was called Dia, but we were still too shy to approach her. For you. Until one day, Jacob decided the time has come. Huh? What are we celebrating today? It's not Pesach. Did you forget? It's their best ever. Our sons are men. They have to look like men. Mazaltov. Wait, come on. Giddy up. Do you know where she lives? Of course, come on.
What's that? It's a gift. A gift from who? From me. To you. What? Can I eat it? Is it good? It's pasharikos. Oh. My family has been doing it for 200 years now. And you? Me? Mm hmm Did you bring something as well? What? No, I didn't. I'm his brother. There are three different quotations about Rabelais' last words. The first is, might be I am on the path of greatness. <laughs> the second is a whisper. <clears throat> I grease the boots for my last journey. But the third is the best. <clears throat> Draw the curtains! The comedy is over! Uh, 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 <laughs> Leah, I didn't see you coming. Hi. 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 I thought you were in the bakery with your brother. Only during the night. What are you reading? Franz Kafka. Have you read it? Yes. He read all the books in the library. He can recommend you one. Mm. Mm. Can you? Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I walked her home. We joked and laughed. I was happy, although I knew I had betrayed my brother. From that day on, Happiness and treachery were one. Hurt yet? Uh, actually, I'm working here. Oh yeah, sure, of course, of course. Making up stories about bread for housewives—it's um, it's impressive. So you've read my books? No, no, I, I don't read. Don't have the time or patience. Yeah. So, going to the cemetery, visit Mama and Benjamin. Want to join? Um, no, I have some stuff to do. Yeah, of course, of course. Work. Stories are more important, I guess. Sorry for interrupting. I called my uncle spying on my crazy mother. How long has she been in this room? Since Benjamin died. It used to be his room. 
She came in. She hasn't come out since. She doesn't have anyone in? Maybe she'll let you in. You used to be friends, weren't you? Yes, we were. She called me. Leah. She called me. Oh, really? What did you say? Where did you get so many puzzles? Father sends them to me, each time from a different country. Look, an idiot made this. All the colors are particularly the same. Maybe he was colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> Mom doesn't think I can assemble this one. But I will. I can do it for you. No, you can't. What? It's hard, you can't. Why not? Of course I can. Mm, you can. I can? No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. No. Okay. <clears throat> Let's pretend that I'm a bear and you're a Sammy girl. No! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, bear. Oh, no, no, no. I need your help. I'm writing a letter to Leah. I really want to impress her with some fancy saying about love, you know. Something from one of those books. Oh, well, I don't know. I gotta think. Come on. You know, entire volumes by heart. Give me something. Your body is like a gentle poet's song. Here you swim in the sea of air and light. Light. This is good. I never told him about the dead Pachoricos that he kept bringing Leah. My brother continued to write his love letters every day, filling them with my quotes. Hmm, I will take the six four and now put it on the right. No, I better put two two on the left. No one's going to expect it. Dad, I can hear you. So what? The point of the game is for me not to know which stones you have. Uh, I put down one five. But then there may be a block bit on one two. No, this is risky, very risky. Uh, your brother is washing his wife. Quarter and guarded and washes are now.
Get out. <clears throat> she needs to see a doctor. What? She needs to be examined by a doctor. She needs to be examined by a doctor. That's what she thinks. Oh, that's nice. Come that's on, your diagnosis. Really Just a second. Listen up, Ryder. You don't know sh about our life, okay? You have no goddamn idea what our life's been like in the last 30 years. So get out of my dead son room and mind your own f business. You got it? I got it. Dad, relax. Sit down. Working hard, huh? Huh? Working hard in America. You know how he died? Yes, you are. No, you don't do it! An Israeli. Tried to hide it from him. But I investigated. Okay. And now I know everything. How the bullet entered his jaw from the left, came out just below the temple, how he uh, collapsed. How he screamed and screamed and screamed. Until he ran out of blood. First of all, you need to wash that hair of yours. What are you, Ethiopian king? You are not Ethiopian king. You are young Jewish man. Chez nous à Paris, men have hair that is smooth and soft like fingers of a piano player. Red, like rouge. All bakers have red eyes. We work the night shifts. No. No, my darling. This one, it's a sign of le grand amour. You don't blink, right? Mm. You are afraid that she will walk right past you when you blink and you will miss her? <sighs> I know. I know. Okay. okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, and... What are you doing here? We need your help. With what? Unloading the truck. See you tomorrow? See you tomorrow. Turn around. <clears throat> Do 
Now he's joined forces with her, and the two of us are against them. Hmm? I'm not against anyone, Dad. Uh, turn. You think the world is made of stories from Brinker's books? Huh? We need to decide who gets the bakery. It's your bakery. Do you want to get what's rightfully yours? Or you want to stay hungry like that cat which lives in the widow's trash can? Indeed, Mother was on Jacob's side. She knew so well the pain of unrequited love. Am I bothering you? Actually, yes. Can you please go and sleep over there? She understood it was impossible to revive something that had died, but couldn't help herself. Desperate, she would do anything to get father's attention. Chez nous à Paris, we have a formidable, like that, with that majestic face of yours, mm. that hair and shoulders. You could be a beauty. You've been in Paris? No. No? A woman like you must go there. Chinois Paris, love is the only reason to live. People kiss on the streets. <sighs> Bonjour. <laughs> you sure you're in the right place? This is a bakery, not a goy bordello. Who are you dressed up for? Bags of flour? For you, idiot. Chez nous à Paris, your wife will be a queen. And you can't even understand it, you moron. Chez nous à Paris, what? When have you ever been to Paris pff, pretending that she knows French? Pardon? Pardon, baguette, macaron, garçon! How dare you! You have a pig! Don't cry, my beauty. You are queen. You know, your bread is salted with your wife's tears. Merci, bye bye, allez, au revoir! Actually, it's the opening of my exhibition. About you. You coming? I will not let you make a fool out of me. You understand? You will not make a fool out of me. You're not going anywhere. You don't understand anything. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not an artist. I'm just a primitive baker, you know? And, uh, my brain was burned by the oven. I don't understand anything. Why should I get it? 
You're not going anywhere. Hey. Mommy! Hey. You're not gonna go with her, right? She asked me to. Now I'll ask you, don't go. Jacob, what? It's an important day for her. Important. Mm -hmm. My own daughter humiliated me. That's important. She hates me. Did you see it? She does everything to spite me. All of that. Actually, I like the dress and the wig. Well, you're gonna hit me? My uncle? Oh, <laughs> you have a cute uncle. Well, thank you. You can ask him out, maybe, but not tonight. Tonight he's busy. Okay. Why right, it's that horrible dress? <laughs> well, shut up! Tell me the truth. Is this wig horrible? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> now, is it better? Much better. Let's pretend 
that you are a fresh lettuce and I'm a mad well, rabbit. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's pretend that you're drunk and I'm deaf. Come on. I think it's time to go home. I'm going to the beach. I don't think it's a good idea. Come on, don't be heavy. Romy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. You still love her. Yeah. You still love her. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm the one who called you. I'm the one who called you in America. It was me. <laughs> what? Let's go. I need you. <laughs> that was me. Why did you do that? Why? Because I was lonely. Because I had no one to talk to. And I was afraid I'm gonna die. Like everyone in this family, they're either dead or they're dying. And I wanted you to save me. I wanted you to save me. Because I thought you were different, but you're not different. You're sh You stupid girl. You just a stupid little... I'm sorry! I'm sorry, okay? I love you. Open it, Blanche.
write something on my back. What are you writing? Guess. You really think I'm beautiful? Yes. But really beautiful. Most beautiful girl I know. <laughs> Who do you know? Let's pretend that I'm lost in the woods and you're showing me where the berries grow under the snow. I gotta go to the bakery. Why? Dad's gonna be mad. A hope for pleasure is almost as enjoyable as the pleasure itself. It's Shakespeare. I know. Go. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Mother asked if we could use your oven. We have guests coming tomorrow, and there's not enough space in ours. Mm, there's no space in our oven for other people's dough. But it's just students, and Mom would really appreciate it. Tell your mother I'm sorry. What do you think you're doing? Calm down. Take it out immediately. No. Come back for your strudels in half an hour. Thank you, Mr. Levian. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you.
No use. That's done. You're not a baker anymore. We'll see. Your dough will resemble that stuff an old boar has between her legs. We'll see. I will not allow a cripple into my bakery. It's not just yours. Oh, so, I tell you one story. No one wants to hear your palabras right now. I do want to hear them. Her palabras. Your grandfather's grandfather, the father of the father of your father's father, bless his memory, Ruben Yaque Presiduccio Levi, had seven goose feathers. One feather for poetry. Second feather for remarks. Third feather for... Tickling Sultan's ass. Scoundrel. How dare you talk to your father like that? Tell me then. How did it end with you and your father being simple workers at this bakery? My father, peace be upon him, studied Torah, and we, the children, didn't have enough food. Your father didn't study Torah. He starved to death. And all he's left you was debt. Why don't you ask her, your mommy, about her family? How her goy father and her goy brothers would get so wasted they'd go out on the streets armed with sticks, screaming, kill the Jews! Not goy, not goy. If you're so noble, then why did you marry her, huh? I was just passing by and saw her there, lost, alone. I did her a favor. That is not true. You lie. You said you love me. <laughs> Come. Listen. Amor es una palabra. Love is just a word. Children, I gave you bags with flower. I carry it. I press the dough for you with these hands my whole life. Oh, you pressed the dough for me. OK, let's stop working. <laughs> So your precious goy mother could keep telling us her goy stories. You will stop calling her goy. If she's a goy, then we are goy. Hey, I'm sick of it. Get it? Sick of it. We're all sick of you. Jacob, please stop. A mad dog. That's who you are. Tonight, you bake alone. Me and you. What happened? I saw my future. I saw my future, Yako. We can go far away from this place. If you want. It's too late. <sighs> it's just too late.
hide. Oh yeah? Freezing, huh? I'll get you some dry clothes. Give me a blanket. Hurry. to change. Don't do this for me. For all of us, if you go, everything, everything, fall apart. We can all go to hell. You will never pass a family. You will never have a wife. You will never have a child. You will never have land. She was already sick by then, but no one noticed. And when they did, it was too late, and I was already gone. It's already dark when we buried. What? I was begging them to wait. I was convinced that you're going to show up. So we just stood here, starting noon, and waited until it grew dark. Then I finally realized that you are not going to come. Why are you telling me this? Tell me, why didn't you come? Why didn't you come closer and I tell you? I can hear you perfectly well up here. You're scared. Of what? To approach the grave. You think she'll kidnap you? She'll drag you with her to the land of the dead? She's gone, Dad. She's been gone a long time. Yeah, yeah, I know. No. But she can still hug me and break my rib, but then the rib will puncture my lung and my spleen. There's nothing she can do to you. No, oh, yes. Yes, she can. She can. She can smother me with her kisses, that cow. Don't let her near me. 
Don't. Don't. That, that. Dad? Hey. You okay? Dad? Hey. Dad? What do you have in America? I've got my house, my ocean, my, my books, my friends. You've got nothing. Empty house. Empty soul. Son. This is your land, your home. Stay, and everything will be yours. Leah, bakery, promise me. Promise. Get some rest, Dad. Let me sleep, you obeying beauty. <laughs> I miss you. My Sarika. My Sarika. Bless are you, Lord God, for creation. To it. Okay. Right. Okay, now you go to the front. Go ahead.
Give this to me. Give, Give this to me. What are you Jacob. doing? Let's Jacob. Give this to me. Dad, no. Jacob, calm Let's down. Make... What are you doing, you idiot? Go away. Go away. You hear me? Go away. I don't want to see you again. Leave me Go. alone, Go. monster. Go. Go. What's the matter with you? Come down. What is the matter with you? She's the only daughter. Oh, she is? Yes, she is. She's my daughter. I'm her father. You're nobody. No, you're not a father. You're not a husband. You're just like, what? You're not even a Jew. Because Jews don't abandon their land or family. What family? What family? Huh? You don't have any family. Father is gone. Benjamin is dead. Shut She's locked up. in her room. Shut up. Mom is going mad. You don't Shut have any family. Shut the f up! She's not going mad. She's always been like this, like you. Exactly like you. Users, that's what you do, takers. You just want to take and take and take and take without giving anything back. You want to enjoy life? You want to have fun? God forbid you'll feel something. No. No, for that you'll use me. You'll use my pain and my blood and my feelings. You and your books, her in her camera. You'll take it and you'll use it and then you'll sell it. Couple of rats, that's what you are. Did you touch my work? No. Mommy, did you touch my work? No. You don't know what love is. You have no idea what feeling is. You write about love. Leah. She never loved you. She never, never loved you.
Get it out. Get to it. Ah! I'll take you to the hospital. No, don't, don't, don't near me! Dad, he broke my it? arm! He broke my arm! Will you come back? What is it? Buy yourself for tickets. And some real pants. You can stay at my place. The house is empty. There's enough space. You can even build yourself a dark room if you'd like. I can't just take off. Close the door. Jacob, where have you been?
Aba. Not bad at all. Everything in the world is a result of a broken chain of cause and effect. Sometimes, the cry of a seagull at the Cape Cod sinks a ship in the English Channel. And sometimes, a starving Jewish deserter from the Turkish army finds a fat goose among the cactus plants. Shalom Aleichem! Hey! Hey! I'm a friend! I'm Jew! Don't be afraid! What's your name? My father will kill me. I'm Abraham. What's your name? Sarika. Where do you live, Sarika? I heard this story when Jacob and I were about five. We asked mother how we came into this world. She replied, there was love and you came. And father suddenly smiled and murmured, there was, there was. <laughs> 